Interpreting Hillary Clinton's viewpoints, Ukraine may have saved Taiwan. I believe that if you read the room, you can sense the change in the global outlook for the geopolitical tension across the Taiwan Strait. The international community is more concerned with when, rather than if China's People's Liberation Army will invade Taiwan. In a recent interview, former U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton gave her insights on the geopolitical tensions in the Indo-Pacific area, saying that the war in Ukraine interfered with China's plans for Taiwan. Recalling a conversation from May in New York City, she also asserted that China Xi Jinping might have issued an order to attack Taiwan in two to three years. However, she remarked, I think that timetable has been pushed back. She suggested that she might be reconsidering waging his own war due to the Russian military's subpar performance in Ukraine. Hillary's points may have derived from some miscalculations from Putin's strategies. First, if Trump had won the presidential election in 2020, the U.S. might have withdrawn from NATO, making the invasion of Ukraine easier. However, Joe Biden won and disrupted Putin's best assumptions. Second, Beijing may have at least bought Moscow's narrative of a quick invasion. However, the resilience of Ukrainians, a united EU, a reinvented NATO, and supportive allies, including the U.S. and Japan, may have caught China off guard. However, Daniel DePetris, a contributor to the Washington Examiner's Beltway Confidential blog, thinks the connection between the two countries is very thin in Hillary's analogy. Because the situation across the Taiwan Strait is much more complicated than that between Ukraine and Russia. The most basic reason is geography. Ukraine is a large landmass in the middle of Europe, sharing a land border with a belligerent Russia. Taiwan is an island roughly 100 miles east of China's coast, with rocky beaches that would make an already complicated, large scale amphibious operation even more difficult. And, non-military responses such as sanctions, assessments of checks and balances, economic and cultural boycotts, and many more would also have terrible repercussions on every party involved, but China will be one of those that will take the hardest blow. Anyway, with so much at stake for Taiwan, I do not think we have the luxury not to care about global development, and that certainly includes supporting Ukraine. Key Issues 1. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky attended the G7 summit in Hiroshima, Japan. 2. Zelensky held one-on-one -on -one talks with leaders, including U.S. President Joe Biden and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. 3. Discussion topics included Ukraine's war effort, climate change, AI, poverty, economic instability, and nuclear proliferation. 4. The war in Bakhmut is going well into its nine months. 5. Joe Biden announced an additional $375 million in military assistance for Ukraine. 6. Several countries, including Germany, France, and the UK, have pledged aid for Ukraine. 7. G7 leaders urged China and North Korea to support peace in Ukraine. 8. G7 leaders announced a new wave of global sanctions against Russia.